How's everybody doing today? Today I have a sneak preview into the mystery clutch. The clutch with my inverted blushed super pastel female that I'm almost positive is a new line of pastel and then was paired to my vanilla cream. This is one of the babies that apparently looks almost out of the egg. Super fat belly right there. Really liking the pattern so far. Let's get going though. All about the snakes today. This clutch was laid July 13th, 11 eggs. One was infertile with no veins. Like I said, it was the super pastel female I showed you and the fire vanilla. People would write that girl off as a, <laughs> that's a very nice sight. People would write that girl off as a low quality super pastel when indeed her, her characteristics are just completely different. I took a chance on her. This guy was offloading her because he put a chance in her and I bought her a year old and the guy didn't want to move forward because he just didn't have too much faith. But this shows you have faith. That's a very nice sight. I really like those heads. Let me see if I can. Oh wow, that's incredible. Sorry, let me shut that window. Traffic's crazy. Yeah. Do you not see that belly? Do you see that belly? Do you see that belly? Oh wow. I didn't really see the bellies in the other ones. That's extreme. That fell all head out. Whoop, little goop. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do an update video because this is freaking insane. I've seen a lot of fireflies. I've seen a lot of pastel vanillas. I own a pastel vanilla disco. I own a firefly 100% head clown. Like, and that belly. That's insane. Let's get this guy that's, uh, Taking his first breaths of the world. Oh my god, this is such a good experience. Looks like he's stuck. I'm not gonna lie. Brother, I'm gonna help you. You don't look too good. I'm trying to help you out, my dude. Now I should be able to just pull it apart. There you go, my homie. Oh man. There you go. There you go. It literally looked like it was cutting into the underneath of his his neck. That didn't that sort of worried me. Whew! That scared me. I'm not gonna lie. There's like, do you see on the outside, it's like pinkish? Do you see that? It's, it's pink. It's good luck. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I wish you guys could see how white these guys are, like it's more showing up pink. Firefly or pastel vanilla? What do you think? 
You can sort of see the belly. There's something going on here. Oh shoot. You see that in the egg? It looks like a big egg. Like another egg sac. Or another snake egg that was supposed to form. Like maybe there was supposed to be twins. Yeah, that's very weird. Those blushings are intense. Yeah, these are supposed to be pastel fires, pastel vanillas. Yeah. And the guy was literally dismissing that female. Oh, that's probably that's a great feeling. That really is a great feeling. I'm sorry that this this video is going on so long. This is like just I'm I'm like sweating. It's not even super hot in here. It is pretty warm, but I'm sweating because I'm like that excited. And I don't cut my eggs until they pipped. Like I give them the best chance possible to pip on their own. And once again, this thing took on another animal. See that towards the tail? That pattern in? That is very different. There's really not much yolk in here. Like, they've absorbed. Like, I see a freaking fat belly right there. Let me see if I can. When I see egg cuttings, I always see goop come out whenever they cut. But this is day 57 or 58, like I mentioned. At what temperature was it it was at 89 89 degrees in between 88 and 89 is where i incubate them and i rotate the egg box a quarter way every two weeks to two and a half weeks so it gets a full rotation during the time it's incubated i believe that's a pastel fire i really do think this is the the pastel fire one or whatever line that pastel girl is but this definitely has fire in it. Sorry. That's fire. And this. Let me see if I can cut it open a little. I believe is vanilla. Dang, that sun is shining. believe that one to be vanilla. Come on, baby. They sort of have like a bluish tint around the eyes. That's pretty cool. I'm not quite sure. They're still in the egg, so I could be wrong. I have two more. Let me get through these last two sort of quick because this video is getting longer than I, I wanted it to be. I apologize, y'all. Oh, wow. 
all very healthy snakes. Very healthy babies. Very interested about that belly. What the? You can see like a vein in the belly. Do you see that? Very nice blushed head again. I really like how their heads turned out. In a few days there will be a update video. I'm sorry guys, not trying to disturb y'all. That's a ball of unabsorbed, whoops, a ball of unabsorbed yolk, or what that is. Magical light staff. <laughs> uh, it's got very peculiar dashings where the alien dot should be. Very interesting. I gotta come back and check on these ones. Uh, there's like two of them. Oh, hold on. There's one more egg I'm missing. my bowl egg that I cut open because I actually thought this one wasn't moving. I can cut this one open a little more. I cut this one open uh, three or four days ago. It was, And th the weird thing about this clutch, it dimpled very early on. Like it dimpled like halfway through. So I got a little nervous. I normally would have let them pip. Oh, wow. That's some crazy oranges on that. Like, nice fire dorsal. Like, hey, buddy, you can poke your head out again. I didn't mean to scare you. Very, uh, very colorful. Oh no. This clutch looks very nice, but this is worrying me. That looks like the umbilical cord or the inside came out through where the umbilical cord is. That is worrying me. Or is it just gonna f absorb and fall off? I'm not sure. Very pink, like they're fat. And then that one's very light, like. Do you see these babies? Well, thank you for hanging in there with me. I do appreciate that that like I don't know this this my mind's blown do you not do you see this yeah it's connected all the way down towards the, the back oh man have a great day, guys. Thank you for sticking in there, and I hope you have a great day. 
I'll definitely be giving you an update on these babies and be letting you know which ones will be available but this is sort of a passion project of mine that I've been pushing for the past two years the mother finally was big enough and uh, old enough to go this season so I paired her with uh, the vanilla fire male to really just answer some questions I had so this was just a passion project it's not one of my crazier projects that I have going but this got me super excited I that is so freaking cool that's insane all of this is insane if you could please subscribe that would that would mean the world to me I am growing slowly but I'm trying to hit a hundred subscribers by the end of this year and if I do I will be doing a snake giveaway thank you very much though for staying tuned all my little buddies just want to say bye bye put me back in the incubator <laughs> my cat's coming over my bearded dragon is running over like feed me feed me before you go to work I will girl well have a great day guys see you later